happened? Oh, first of all, I lost my long year yeah. young woman. Okay. She wanted to stay in Berlin, wanted to do her career. She was very accepted by my family, but it didn't happen. So, which was lucky, <laughs> because otherwise I would have sitting there. My, my grandfather wanted to bribe me with a big villa and, you know. So I did this job for only two years, but it was like so narrow-minded, you know. It wasn't mine, so. And I started meditating in the center in Frankfurt, which was kind of funny because I was at my sports car and, you know, after my work, I went there with my sports car and did Kundalini. <laughs> and it was really strange people, you know. <laughs> I liked it. They were sannyasins? Of course, it was a sannyas center, Mada. Okay, Mada center. Which means in Spanish, Mad, Mada, or Pagalo. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I got slowly, slowly into uh, having my first group, a Tai Chi group with a, with a Chinese master. And Siddhartha, who was a center leader, who was imitating Osho, doing uh, darshan. <laughs> and, and, and I looked at it, this is nuts, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but only a, it took only a week and I was totally in it. <laughs> um, but this is, uh, when looking back, it was sort of the... the the fragrance and the flavor of the people around uh, who really touched me. And even Siddhartha in his, in his uh, crazy way. And uh, so uh, that was my first group. That was two weeks. And um, and I went back in my job and then, then did the next group over the new year. And that was amazing because there were all these sannyasins coming from Pune, offering like uh, to get a taste of all the groups which were happening in Pune one. Mm -hmm. Like uh, enlightenment intensive, encounter, uh, kind of a tantra, uh, I mean, for me, it was like, wow, what is happening, you know? But I noticed, and dynamic meditation with people around from, from Varesh's uh, crew, and they, I mean, they were pushing, they were screaming, and, uh, and don't keep on breathing, and you know, and keep on shouting. So I noticed, wow, so much is coming up and I felt so alive and so my heart was opening and oh man. And then the funny thing is Viresh was like, he was kind of, uh, he was telling a story about his father and, and he, he was such a nutcase, I mean, nutcase. <laughs> and, um, but somehow, because I didn't have any father, he was such a great projection. I mean, so I, said, oh, I wanted to take sannyas with him. Oh, a little side story was one of the helpers of Varesh gave me his mala. Just like that? Just like that. Just feel it out. <laughs> And I said, what? Oh, okay. And it felt so good. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm a dreamer, but anyway, it felt good. <laughs> so, so I said, okay, I want to take sannyas next time at your next camp, summer camp. It was called Bodhidharma. That's why I'm so 
in love with that photo of Osho because he's <laughs> like anyway. But I got very impatient. I said no. I wanted to go to Pune. It was March 1981. I called and I said, they said, no, you can't come. So I said, okay, I wrote a letter applying for a new name and wrote on the back how I got the name Pablo. And Garimo told me later on, Arup, that she went in with my letter to Osho and told him this story which I had written in the back. So he kept the Pablo and um, put Prem Pablo. So I received the letter, the, the certificate on um, the 13th of June very soon um, and I was playing a tournament in tennis that day so I said okay here's my certificate I go to the center I want to take Sanya's right now and then <laughs> so funny I came into the center and I went to the center leader and I said, here's my document, here's my certificate, I want to take Sanya's now. And he said, no, you can't. You have to do this and that and that and that and that. And we are not prepared and blah, blah, blah. And he said, what? <laughs> you know, there's again, there's uh, what I learned in the, in sports and in, in, in business. You know, no, I just said, I won't, you know. <laughs> so I went to the woman who was cooperating with the center leader. And I said, come on, I want to take Sanyas tonight. There are so many people, there are 30 people. Let's have it. And she managed to get me into it. So we had this incredible, incredible celebration, you know. It was really like... What you usually like do the, the whole thing, it was happening there. And I was like, I didn't know. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So it wasn't through Osho in the, in the, uh, him in his physical presence, but it was so obvious that, and there was live music, and you know, it was wild. So that was my starting point. <laughs> And soon after, I went to my business, to, to this company, uh, in a maroon suit with my mom. And you know, people were, what? And my grandfather got really, really upset. Because in these kind of uh, companies, in these branches, you know, uh, it's all very um, personal, you know? And I was in, in charge of the company and in charge of distribution. So, so my grandfather said, no, either you, you leave this guru or you're out. And I said, well, then I'm out. Okay. <laughs> so, I was shareholder even of this company, together with my mother. So they gave me 200,000 Deutschmark and I left. And I joined a, a little ashram close by Frankfurt. And there I met Pragit, American Pragit, rebalancer, Rolfer, you must. And he, was about to start a commune in France. So he talked me into it and uh, of course I'm, f and here I was in Southern France starting a new commune with three people. And within 
few months, we were 120. Mm. Because it was such an incredible spot, you know. Osho gave us even the name City of Rajneesh in France. And Anna had given 180,000 uh, Deutschmarks to that commune. And Gita Ma, 100,000. You know Gita? Yes. You remember Gita? That was our first meeting. You mean Garimo's mother? Yeah. Okay. And Chaitanya Hari came, and you know, like, and and Sylvie Winter, and, and all these. Oh, she has already left for America. Yeah, 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 yeah. He was in America. Okay. But that was the key point. Okay. This, this place was taking off so much, we had a waiting list of 300 people to come there. People with businesses and everything. We wanted to have a Zorba the Buddha there. But it was attracting so much people and money. Mm. And we were quite rebellious people there. Mm. And, um, but for me, it was my uh, strongest, like the Sangha we were talking about. Mm -hmm. It was even the name was Sangam. And it was, ah, oh, this is my, this is my vision, this is my. And I was sort of the, uh, I had given money and I was the, the helper of Pragit and, you know. It was no, no doubt of giving money and supporting this. This was my dream. On my vision also. Later on, I noticed that it was Osho's vision, right? But it could only work because of Osho. And about this uh, kind of this devotion of, of people, you know? And then Sushila came and Latifa came and they checked the place out and then they were in constant contact with Rajnishpuram. And, and Osho apparently had said that politically, it's not intelligent to continue there. Mm. The main reason was it was attracting much too much en money and energy and people. So um, they shut the place down. So people can go to Rajnishpuram. Right. No, and the money has to go to Rajneeshpur. No, that was one of the reasons why they asked me to join Rajneesh Services International, which was in charge of the European centers and for the money to Rajneeshpuram. I didn't understand this at that time, but I took the jump, though I was really crying and really shocked about this closing down. But I had no idea about politics and everything at that time. But that was my first um, 